are Bastilodons with Revivication Crystals and Egoden Patch 5.1. And it took about 5 trials, thanks. So this is going to be a short video. For 1000 gold and 250 upkeep from just the tier 3 beast building, you get all the usual benefits of a Bastilodon. All the stats straight down the middle, the skinks clinging to the top chucking poison javelins, and that crystal, which offers a lot more than it used to. With a 60 second cooldown, the Revivification Crystal heals for 26 seconds at a time, 7 uses maximum in a single battle, and will resurrect dead models if all the existing models are fully healed, which is the only place you'll find this outside of undead factions. Better yet, alliances can get you one of these for yourself. Now, by the way, you can combine this with life magic. So you can have life magic restoring the health of the existing models, and then this will restore new models. So all this really comes down to is, how good is the healing? Well, it's for 0.50% per second. The hunger, for contrast, delivers 0.10 per second, but only while in melee, though without weakness to fire. So there's healing in the game that's higher than that aplenty, but that's costing you winds of magic. This is independent of winds and therefore effectively for free, aside from the opportunity cost of bringing a dinosaur at this price tier, as opposed to something else. Setting aside the whole resurrecting dead models niche, it's a lot more decent in terms of total overall healing than it used to be. 7 uses may rarely get used, maybe, but 60 second cooldown is frankly not that long compared to some stuff. I feel this was harder to use back in the day. You may not need or want more than one, but if you can afford it, it's still a perfectly good Bastilodon at the Arc of Sotek upkeep level, and does not rampage. Your downside is very, very minimal. Take care, and have fun defying death.